This week, a bar bet with two mysteries for the price of one. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Netflix and GoDaddy. Welcome to the only class where sobriety is entirely optional. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we go back to the old school bar bets. Classic Scam School here as we learn how to score a free drink using the simplest of props, an empty wine bottle and a dime. Oh, dude, I am Brian. I'm Robert. Robert and Courtney. Courtney, awesome. We got a super easy little challenge here. Okay. Uses nothing but the simplest of props. One empty wine bottle, the cork from that wine bottle, and we'll use a regular dime. Okay. Nothing okay. tricky about it. The dime goes inside the wine bottle. The cork goes back into place. And my challenge to you. And this is worth a free drink. I don't know, what do you guys drink? You're drinking water, right now you're a cheap date. Oh, uh, this is a gin and tonic. Oh, a gin and tonic, but okay. she's a cheap date. Oh, she's great. a cheap yeah. date, okay, you know what? I'll buy you a water, I'll buy you a gin and tonic <laughs> if you can figure out how to get the dime out of the wine bottle before you take out the cork. So in other words, you take the dime out first, then you take out the cork. If you figure it out, free drink for both of you guys. And feel free to get experimental, see what you can figure out. Can we crack the bottle? <laughs> That's a good point. The bottle does need to remain That's in the exactly. same shape it's in right now. Well, that just throws out all the ideas. If you had like a forge, you could melt it down or something. I don't know, babe. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, physics says that I can't really do that. However, <laughs> you and your math and physics. Stupid science. Your science. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might be too logical to think of a solution, but you're like, like too you're off the cuff. You're off the cuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're the logic one that like can't be done. You're the practical it one that like let's just break it. No, I honestly, I have no. I don't know. Man, I mean, it's free beverage. I know. I know. This in is, these hard economic times. What's in there? It's a, just the dime. <laughs> that that would be mold at the bottom of that. Yeah, don't. Look. You don't need to look at that part. Has to be something like pretty obvious, but yet not so obvious. And I love it because there are these phases people go through with the scam school challenges. At first, they're like, "Well, it's not possible." And they're like, "No, it has to be possible." No, it has to be something super simple. That exactly, I can figure something out. so stupid. <laughs> well, like, how do people get those boats in there? That's, <laughs> that's what it is. It's exactly the same. You just have to build a ship in there, and then you'll have the dime. <laughs> now I could let you off the hook here, but. It won't be for free. No. I mean, if you're giving up, I mean, the moment you give up, you give up an opportunity to free drink. Well, 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 well. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa Brushwood. Let's not get hazy here. There's booze on the line. No, I honestly have no clue. Well, honestly, I have no clue. You're totally calling it? I'm calling it. You're willing to give it up? I'm it. Well, here's the thing. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm. You still want to break the bottle. I still want to break the bottle. I'm still stuck on that idea. I'm puzzled, I don't know. It's completely possible, and you're right, it's completely easy and completely obvious once you know it, but it will cost you one tasty beverage. One tasty beverage. Yeah, you guys have to chip in for me. Huh, is it worth it? That's the question. <laughs> With the episode ends, you're like, no, thank you, have a good yeah, night. you guys keep your trick, that's cool. I'm gonna have to call it as well. Aha! All right, I will reveal it to you, but first we have to actually thank the people who make Scam School possible. So let's hear it for the sponsors. Cheers. Now normally, this is where we continue our graduate level course in Scamology through the use of Netflix by suggesting another scam or con movie for you to check out at home. But this time I want to turn the tables and ask you guys, what are the movies I missed? What is the best con movie that I have not yet brought up? Write me directly at brianrevision3.com and set me straight. But meanwhile, we want to thank Netflix for sponsoring this episode of Scam School. Don't forget that with Netflix, you can rent over 90,000 titles online, including lots of Blu-ray titles, 
with free shipping both ways to your home. They've got over 40 shipping centers, so almost all deliveries happen in one day. The plans start from only $4.99, and as a new member, you get a free, no-risk, two-week trial membership. Head on over to www.netflix.com slash scam school. And of course, remember, www is at the beginning, just as important as the scam school at the end to make sure we get credit for the sale. All right, are you ready to find this out? I think yeah, yeah, what did I say? The rules were... Could not, the, the cord could not be taken out in order to remove the dime. Is right. That right. Well, I said, I said yeah. you remove the dime first. Oh, right, right. And we then you remove the cord, right? Right. right? So the first part is actually blindingly easy. You're going to hate it because all you have to do... Oh, no! Dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. There we go. Oh, I was hoping it'd get stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so that's the first part. But if you'll remember, there were two parts because I said you have to remove the dime first and then you have to remove the cork. And we'll find out the second part after we thank our other sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Now before we show you how to cheat and win this game, we're going to check back with our contest to find the ultimate domain smack. What's a domain smack? Well, in short, domains are so ridiculously cheap through GoDaddy.com that we want you to register them just to punk your friends. And to that extent, user John McLagan on Twitter decided to punk yours truly by registering IGotAShwoody.com and pointing it to me. I'm just glad you didn't draw a bulge in my pants. If you want to pull off your own domain smack, head on over to GoDaddy.com and make sure to use the code SCAM3 at checkout. Not only will that get you your domain for less than seven and a half bucks, but they'll forward it to anywhere you want absolutely free. Make sure to send me a note as well, letting me know who you domain smacked so we can feature it right here on the show. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. All right, before we learn the second part here, let me ask, like, you had that look of that, that, damn it, I knew the whole time, I just, uh, did you feel like you were about to figure out the dime part, or? I had a feeling it had something to do with getting it around the cork. Because I saw you, when you picked it up, you were totally looking at that edge to see if it would fit through, and actually, for a split second, I thought that you might have actually had it figured out, but luckily you didn't. So right now, <laughs> we're halfway there. We got the dime out, now we gotta get the cork out as well, and this is one, this is actually a practical problem. Actually, for anyone who loses a cork inside, which I do. Do you? Do you lose a cork inside? Of course, uh, it doesn't actually work when there's wine in the bottle. Well. But to get there, <laughs> you're like, well, then what's the point of that, Brushwood? <laughs> if you twist up a regular linen napkin and get enough of it inside the bottle, there you go, like that. And you can see it's kind of in there, kind of loosey goosey. And then I'm going to. There you go. You want to kind of get, there you go, get the cork in position to where when you pull it down, it'll catch on that napkin. There you go. When you get it wedged in there and pull it down, it'll actually grab it right at that end. See how it's got it grabbed in there? And then you can take the cork <laughs> right out of the bottle. Ha-ha! That was worth a beer, wasn't it? Was it? Dude, you guys were amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are great sports. And I now give me my beer. <laughs> a word of caution on this one. Make sure you actually practice it before you pull it off because sometimes it's a lot harder both to push that cork in and pull it out than you might think. But I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to hit me up on email, I'm at brian at revision3.com. We'd love to hear your suggestions for future episodes. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or find out when I'm going to be in your hometown for some special scam school meetups by following me at twitter.com slash schwood. Next week, a linguist is going to teach us some of the most important phrases in certain situations. For example, how to say donde esta el baño in Mongolian. It's going to be a heavy episode. i got to get back to the bar first. <laughs>